<clears throat> Hello, welcome. It is uh, Tuesday, February 23rd. Today we are remembering Polycarp, the Bishop of Smyrna, and we'll hear a little bit more about him later. Uh, great to have you uh, join me in prayer this uh, midday. Let's take a moment of holy silence, a few deep breaths, and make ourselves aware of God's presence with us. You have a book of alternative services with you. We begin on page 56. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm today Psalm 116, verses 10 through 17. How shall I repay the Lord for all the good things he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord, is the death of his servants. <clears throat> o Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Let us pray. Eternal God, faithful in your tender compassion, you give us hope for our life here and hereafter through the victory of your only Son. When we share his cup of salvation, revive in us the joy of this everlasting gift. We ask this in his name. Amen. Our gospel today is from the gospel according to Matthew, and it's uh, chapter 20, beginning at verse 20. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to Jesus with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked a favor of him. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Declare that these two sons of mine will sit one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will indeed drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left, this is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my Father. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. And now, as promised, a word about Polycarp, Bishop of Smyrna, a martyr who died in the year 156. The whole church joins in honoring Polycarp, a bishop who was martyred on this date in the year 156. For over 40 years, he guided the Christians of Smyrna, a city on the western coast of Asia Minor, and brought healing wisdom to issues which divided the churches at that time. When the Roman authorities suddenly launched a campaign of terror against the church, Polycarp went into hiding, but was soon discovered and brought back to face the pagan governor before a large crowd in the public arena. The governor urged him to renounce the Christian faith and to curse Jesus Christ. Polycarp answered, For eighty-six years I have been his servant, and he has done me no wrong. How can I blaspheme against my king and savior? At this he was bound to a stake, and as he prayed, the wood at his feet was set ablaze. 
Eyewitnesses reported that the flames did not touch him, but formed a kind of vault around his body, so that a gladiator had to be sent into the fire to kill him. Afterwards, his people gathered his remains and buried them in a cemetery outside the city. Every year, on the anniversary of his martyrdom, they celebrated the Eucharist at Polycarp's grave, both as a memorial for those who have already fought the contest and for the training and preparation of those who will do, this, do so in the future. So we remember today our, our Christian martyr, Polycarp. Well, let us pray. With confidence and trust, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church throughout the world, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. Hold up before you, Heavenly Father, the body of your Son. We pray your presence with all Christian peoples, especially those who suffer persecution, repression for their faith. We pray for the Anglican Communion, for this Anglican Church of Canada, for Linda, our primate. We pray for the Anglican province of Ontario with its six dioceses, and for Anne, our Archbishop. And gracious God, we pray for this diocese of Ontario, for our Bishop Michael, for his family, for his ministry. Pray for the parishes of this diocese, for the people of the, this diocese. We pray for our leaders, for our clergy, for our wardens, treasurers, and all those who seek to serve you. We pray for this regional ministry of Grenville North. We pray for Father Robert and myself, and for our leadership in each of our parishes. We pray especially for the parish of Merrickville and especially the Congregation of Christ Church in Burt's Rapids as they have their annual vestry this Sunday. We pray for the parish of St. James in Kempville for your presence at their special vestry this Sunday afternoon. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those preparing for baptism, and for their teachers and sponsors, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray, Lord, for this world, this creation of yours, we pray for its reconciliation to you. We give thanks for the gift of your Son, Jesus, for his death and his resurrection. We pray for the leaders of the nations, the leaders of business, that they would view your people with compassion, that they would seek in all their decisions to do what is just and righteous in your sight. Pray for a greater sharing of the wealth of this world, that the poor and hungry will no longer be so. We pray for those parts of the world that suffer from war, violence, poverty, famine. Pray for the people of Yemen, the Rohingya, the people of Myanmar and Belarus, in Syria, in Iraq, in Central Africa. For, for peace in the world, that a spirit of respect and reconciliation may grow among nations and peoples, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer, 
the refugees, prisoners, and all in danger, that they may be relieved and protected. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. We've been asked to pray today and hold up before you, Jesus Christ. We hold up before you Avalon, Hal, Verna, Grenville, George, Harold, Kathy, India, Nancy, Maria, and Carl. We pray too for Doug, Mitchell, Barbara, Anne, Lucas, Joy, Anita, Steve, Angie, Julie, Adrian, Nancy, Cindy, Chantal, John, Joan, Paul, Joan, David, Sarah, Rod, Connie, Linda, Iris, Siham, Betty, Bishop Michael Polisso. We pray for Douglas, Sarah, Pat, Erica, Margarita, Ryan, for Chris. Pray to Lord for those who are affected by this coronavirus, by this panic, pandemic. We pray for those who are ill, those who are dying. We pray for those who are shut in, who are isolated and alone. We pray for those on the front line, physicians, nurses, hospital workers. Pray especially for Jessica, James, Megan, Joanne, Emily, Dan, Trinda, Diego, Sally, Zach, Jinky, and Isla. And I invite you to offer up your own prayers at this time, uh, either aloud or in the silence of your hearts, for those in need, for those who have asked you to pray for them. For Thomas, for Ben, for Bob and Maria. For Jill. For all whom we have injured or offended, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. For grace to amend our lives and to further the reign of God, we pray to you, Lord. Lord, have mercy. And the collect today for the Bishop of Smyrna, maker of heaven and earth, your love blazed so strongly in the heart of your servant Polycarp that he won eternal life out of the devouring flames of persecution. By this memorial of his courage, grant us such confidence in your promises that we may share in the surpassing joy of knowing Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, whose son fasted forty days in the wilderness, and was tempted as we are, but did not sin. Give us grace to discipline ourselves in submission to your Spirit, that as you know your, our weakness, so we may know your power to save. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who sin against us. Say, lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me today for our midday prayer. I pray that this day brings you many blessings and gifts, and I look forward to being with you again tomorrow at noon. God bless, and have a wonderful day.